Hi friends, Andrew Goodall here again with a look at one of the fun and very useful features in my Panasonic Lumix G9. To begin with, I want to pose a question. What do you see here? To most of us, this is just a wall with some blue sky behind. But bird photographers might understand it when I say this is a bird photo. More specifically, it's the place where a bird used to be. We've all had the experience, you spot your bird, you line it up, and you wait for that split second moment as the bird's taking off. Then without warning the bird takes flight, you press the button an instant too late, and you get this. Or, if you're having a very good day, you might get this. So in this video, I want to talk about a special feature on the Panasonic Lumix G9 that made it possible to get this. Before we get started, I would love it if you clicked on that subscribe button for more content on the Lumix G9. The function I'm talking about is called the Super High Speed Pre-Burst Mode, and here's a description of what it does. You have two options. You have the SH1 mode that shoots up to 20 frames per second. You also have the SH2 mode which shoots up to 60 frames per second if you're using autofocus single, and up to 20 frames per second if you're using autofocus continuous. These modes use the electronic shutter, and you might be thinking these files are just little video snippets. But no, these are full-size files, and you can shoot in both JPEG and RAW. That's right, up to 60 frames per second, and your shots have the same quality as if you were shooting one shot at a time. Now, here's the important bit. When you use these high-speed pre-burst functions, the camera starts taking photos the moment you begin to autofocus. Then when you press the button, the camera saves the photos captured for up to 0.4 of a second before you press the button. So even if you miss the moment, chances are the camera captured it. So, how well does it work? Well, here's the full sequence of shots of my Kingfisher. And the moment when I press the button would be around here. But for me, this is the money shot. So, you can see this is a pretty amazing feature for many kinds of action photography, and bird photographers are going to love it. And it's easy to set up. Your release mode dial has two spaces for burst mode shooting, and you get to choose which option goes to which space. Go to the menu, and in section 1, scroll down to page 3 to find the burst shot settings. Whichever burst mode you choose for setting 1 will then be assigned here, and whichever burst mode you choose for setting 2 will be assigned here. I assigned the SH1 Pre-Burst to setting 2 simply by clicking that spot on the menu and selecting SH1 Pre. I am not using the SH2 option because at up to 60 frames per second I can see myself deleting hundreds of images for every couple that I use. So 20 frames per second is enough for me. So it's easy to set up and you only have to do all that once. Now that it's been assigned, all I have to do is select the burst mode I want on my release mode dial. As you can see, the first spot on the dial is for single shot shooting. On the second spot, I've assigned regular burst mode, which uses the mechanical shutter and shoots at a very healthy 12 frames per second, with no pre-burst. But when I want to shoot super fast pre-burst mode, I simply turn the dial to the third spot, which is where I assigned that function. And that's the story of how I'm now able to capture shots like this with the Panasonic Lumix G9. Of course, this would be great for any kind of action, but since I have had the camera, I've been shooting lots of birds, so that's what I have to show you so far. Now, while I show you a few more images taken using the pre-burst mode, there's a couple of things you need to know about before you start using this function. Number one, you are going to take a lot of photos. I defy anyone to take just one picture using the high-speed mode. In fact, if I press the button and take my finger off as quickly as possible, I've already taken around four shots. Hold the button down for just a moment and I've taken a dozen. So be prepared to take a lot more shots than you're ever going to use. And really only turn the function on when you need it, and stick with regular burst mode or single shot when you don't. Otherwise you're going to fill up your hard drive with thousands of unwanted shots. Number two. Following on from number one, there is a reason why this camera has two SD card slots. If you're taking a large number of shots every time you press the button, you'll fill up one memory card in no time. So keep a second one in the camera, and it's not a bad idea to keep a couple of spares in your camera bag. And finally, number three. Don't forget that as long as your finger is half pressed to focus, the camera is taking photos. It doesn't record anything to the SD card until you press the button, but it is always taking images using the electronic shutter. And that uses battery power. 
If you use this mode a lot, you're going to run out of battery faster than you think. So always keep a fully charged spare battery ready to go because you're probably going to need it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed these picks and I certainly hope I have helped you understand the pre-burst mode on this camera. Once again, I invite you to subscribe because I have plenty more to come on the Lumix G9. I'm Andrew Goodall from Nature's Image Photography. Thanks for watching.